All right, everyone. So what we're doing is a uh, eh, quick discussion. How to properly adjust your AC vents in your Bronco. Now, I know that might seem trivial, but you've heard some people complain that it feels too warm in the Bronco, uh, whether it be the front or the rear or whatever. Um, there is the right way of setting the vents. And I say setting, adjusting the vents in the dash so that it maximizes the air to the back. And we're going to show you that right now. So, Becky, show them how much, uh, what's the temperature outside? 86 degrees. See that right there? 86. Yeah, nice and 86 degrees. Okay. And we are in a 22 uh, four door Badlands hard top, as you can tell. Oh, by the way, no clicking. You hear that? Yeah, that's right. We're good. All right. Gavin, why don't you show everyone what is the temperature in the back? So we are at 44% humidity. humidity. And I can't read the numbers. 65.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so show that again. Oh, you turned it off. Okay, yep, 65.9 degrees in the back. All right, now, Gavin? Let me have the thermometer. So by the way, the wrong device to use is a laser thermometer. You do not want to use that in here. That's touching a surface. And the surface of any vehicle is, um, well, it's going to be different. First of all, you can't shoot, shoot it through the glass because it'll go outside and hit whatever the first solid surface it is. You can do the dash, but that's inaccurate because that's the dash is heating up from the sun, you know, the radiant heat. So what you're trying to do is check the temperature in the Bronco without being directly in front of one of the vents, because that would be a false number. Now Becky can show you how the vents in the center of the dash right here. So if you notice this vent is slightly uh, to the right, that one's slightly to the left, and essentially what I'm doing is directing the air to the back. And then on the side vents, they're blowing down the side door panels, which goes to the back as well. Now that is still blowing plenty of air in the front you know we're still being conditioned up here but the temperature is going to be actually different up here right now we're at um, we're at 71 degrees can you see that and it might be climbing still it's hard to see it so we are at um, actually we're at 69 degrees so four degrees difference a little warmer up front versus the back now you can play around with the airflow I've got the fan speed on four um, you know, where it's, it's now 87 outside, but you can see that the back of the Bronco is actually cooler with the vents just this way than the front. And that's because most of the air is blowing to the back. That temperature was not taken in the stream, it was taken behind the seat, which is blocking the vent. So it, for proper operation, you can adjust your fan speed, but if you notice, you don't hear the air noise because we are, let's see right here, showing this. Uh, we're on fan speed number four. Also, if you look at the climate control settings, it is only on the dash vents, not the floor or defrost. So you can hit, you know, a different combination. You could do that floor and vent. Uh, that would be floor and the dash, which is typically for defrost. Now you don't want to do that because that's going to cause your windshield to uh, fog up. So right here, all of the air is being pushed out of these vents and when you properly adjust these you're going to blow a lot of air to the rear and if you've noticed Gavin's in a blanket um, I like it kind of cool and they don't so it's like bring your blanket so <laughs> almost 90 degrees outside blanky in the back seat because the AC kicks in this Bronco so I don't use a laser thermometer. That's the wrong device, the wrong tool for the wrong job. What I'm doing is checking the air temperature in the Bronco without being in front of one of the vents. I'm looking for the average. So uh, there you go. Adjust the vents in the Bronco and this way, and it'll actually perform very, very well. We're on a road trip today. We're headed down to North Carolina to see some family. And on the way back, it's going to be a little bit hotter, maybe 95 to 98 degrees. We're going to redo some of this and see what it looks like then and see what it looks like. Everybody attention, but we are uh, pretty heavy uh, winds and rain and all that good stuff. And I've got to tell you, the first time experiencing this in the Bronco, I am, uh, I am pleasantly surprised. Cruising through it like a dream. So 
We're going to finish our video talking about the temperature in just a little bit. I think what we did earlier is going to be it. And check out the rain right now. Okay, so um, we were going to shoot the late afternoon sun here when it was going to be at the hottest point, maybe about 95 today, but it only made it, well, I don't know how it made it, uh, um, but driving, the highest it got was 88. When we did the video earlier, you saw that we were in the mid-60s in the back seat, 66 to be exact, 69 in the front, and the fan was on four, uh, fan speed four. Uh, so you can tell if you use your two dash vents and you angle them so that they're blowing between the front seats and if you use the side vents and blow them between the door panel and the side of the uh, driver seat and the passenger seat it cools just fine in the back when i say just fine if you turn the fan on high the temperature to low in the conditions we had today 88 ish degrees um it cools it down pretty well so i, I don't know what the the only thing I can tell you is, if if you use the AC vents like this, just the dash, not the windshield or the defrost, not the floor, um, it's going to work fine. So, it like I said, it works great. I think if you just orient the uh, the vents this way, you're going to be in good shape. So. Um, I made the wrong turn, so I'm going to make a U-turn and go back that way because we're going to grab some dinner. We're on our way home from our one-day road trip. So I hope you liked the video. If you would, hit subscribe if you haven't already and like the video. That always goes a long way with YouTube. They love it when you do that, and so do we. And hopefully you learned something here. Um, vent orientation, I guess, or how you angle the vents, it works. It works. All right, everyone. See you. Have a great day.